how unattractive are you? Let's see how unattractive y'all are, chat. Let's see. Okay. Having greasy hair. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. 5.7.5% 5. find that ugly. Okay, y'all y'all hate us for real. Being too skinny. What does too skinny mean? That don't make sense. We don't we need excessive makeup. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Having a short neck. <laughs> I think this really targets fat people. I don't know many skinny people with short necks. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like the only time I don't see someone's neck is when they fat. Too big of a no nose. Okay, so they hate Negroes. Okay. This is long toes? Okay. Well, okay, toes can be considered ugly. They can consider toes ugly. That's fair. Being very tan. Okay, I can see it. Overstyled hair. I can see it. Too large boobs. Depends. Like, what cup is we talking about? I think once we get over, um... What, double D's? We start going to different letters of the alphabet that I don't even remember. You know, I know A, B, C, D, there is more. You feel what I'm saying? Once we get into the there is more, I guess. I guess. I'm not sure, though. I'll have to see an example. Chap lips. But those are easy to fix, you know? Dark bags under the eyes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Having a large forehead. <sighs> I feel like this targets Negroes again. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, with white people's, like, hair consistency, you know, you can just, it just covers it up. You, you know, they can hide a big forehead, but sometimes when you Negro, you can't really hide that thing for, for real. Someone in chat said Berlin. <laughs> That's bad posture. Okay. Dry skin. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Especially when you can see, like, the skin chipping off or whatever. Yeah. Tattoos all over the body. Oh, yeah, when they're, like, completely covered head to toe. I don't like tattoos in general. But covered head to toe, that looks ridiculous to me. I'm not going to lie. I remember I was walking on the street. I was, like, 10 years old, and there was someone walking past us who was just covered head to toe with tattoos. And I told my mom I was terrified. Like, I was, I was legit shook because I didn't know that existed. You know what I'm saying? Having a double chin. <laughs> That's targeting fat people being too short. That's fair. You know, we already knew that. Bad fashion taste, that's that's very fair. Yeah. I don't have fashion taste, so shit. Having a pale skin. How pale are we talking about? Acne all over the face, fair. Floppy arms. I don't know. I know a lot of women who love skinny men and fat men. So I don't know if this is true or not. Because if you ask a skinny man to do this with his arms, it's still going to flap. It's gonna flop even if even with him being skinny. That's still so I don't know about that one big lips This is just Negro hating That's me. I'll be biting my fingernails like crazy large tummies. Why don't they just say fat? This <laughs> says large tummies having large ears Large 42%? Nigga, who is this 42? <laughs> who, who are y'all? <laughs> what? Nah, y'all 42% y'all disgusting. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, y'all y'all disgusting. Pixie cut. I don't even know what this is for real, but looking at that, that just look ugly. Having a six pack. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, like, like when women want to fit, man, I think, I think what happens a lot is when a guy is too fit, people see it as he spends all day in the gym and the gym is his life. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that's where this stigma comes from more than anything else. But wait, wait till they see, let's wait until they go to a uh, movie and they see an actor take off their shirt and there's a six packs reveal. No, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Stop ignoring chat. You want to hug? Here you go, man. Here, here you go. Man. Here. In fact, here, you can smell my breast. You smell that? You smell that? Ugh. But yeah, I think, but I do think women prefer, like, if you're fit, but not, you're not, like, over the top looking fit, you know? There's, like, a barrier you can't break. 
crooked nose. <laughs> Unibrow, floppy ears. What does that mean? Having stretch marks. 52%? You know, okay, I don't, I don't think this is accurate. I truly don't think this is accurate no more. You know, they had me in the beginning. But this don't even feel real for real. I promise you, on, I, people don't really notice stretch marks unless they look like pieces of bacon. Because there's all types of stretch marks. Like, I got st stretch marks. You, you feel what I'm saying? But people don't really notice them unless it looks like a piece of bacon. And even then, people really don't care for real. So what, what are we talking about? Who does this study did? Who did this study? Okay, now we're just lying. 55% find beards ugly. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, no, we're just lying. I don't trust this. 56% find obesity. I guarantee you it's more than 56. If we talk about worldwide now in America, you know, most, a lot of us are already obese as it is. But worldwide? 56? Okay. Okay, now, now, this is, this is, this is, uh... Cellulite, don't even know what that means. Mustache. <laughs> Dramatic nails. Okay, there, yeah, that is ugly. Hairy chest. Okay. Crooked T. It really depends how crooked. Yellow T. Yeah. So yellow teeth is the ugliest, ugliest thing. Interesting. 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 Okay. I feel like a lot of that was cap. I truly felt like a lot of that was cap. Cause, cause they put people liking obesity and people, no, people finding obesity as ugly as six packs. Like they were in a relatively same range. And that, I don't care what no one says, that don't sound right to me. That, don't, that, like, that doesn't even make sense. Walker, can you thug shake? Thug shape for me first. Didn't they just say that people found chest hair ugly? Okay, 16% find it hot. Okay. Okay, I guess. Mustache, 30% find it hot. But the last list? I'm, I'm blown. I'm blown. I'm blown. I'm blown. I remember when my friend, we were in high school, and she was like, uh, can y'all show y'all veins and y'all forearms? And I'm like, uh, I, like I, don't, I don't really have veiny arms. Like, it takes a certain amount of time for my veins to actually show up or whatever. But my friend has veiny ar arms. And she was feeling his arms. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, I like that so. Oh, my, my clitoris is soaking. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Look at the way they pop out. So, I think she's addicted to heroin addicts. Uh, but, yeah. Anyone who's addicted, like, veiny arms, I'm assuming you just have a drug problem. Go, go seek help. Brown eyes, okay. I I promise you we did not need this as a picture. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This this picture is ridiculous. Abs. I feel like this is contradictory. I feel like this is so contradictory. Did this not just say 50% of people say it's ugly? There is no way 43% find it hot and 50% find it ugly. There has to be a middle ground of people not caring. And I guarantee you it's more than the percentage they're giving us. These niggas are just liars, bro. I knew they were lying. I felt like they were lying. That's cap! Only 5% of people find ginger people hot. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I guess this must be, nowadays it's cool if the woman is taller than a man. <gasps> nowadays? When did this happen? I must have missed this update. This is not canon. <laughs> this is not canon. <laughs> that's, that's fake news. <laughs> Who made this, BuzzFeed? <laughs> why, are they, why, are they, why are they making fake news, bro? This is a filler story. <laughs> that's filler. Slim nose. 
that's targeting. That's targeting. That's anti-Negro right there. <laughs> big bum having curves. So we went big boobs, big bum having curves. How? I, I just, I don't see why you just don't group them together. I, just, I don't see how. I don't oh know. Almond shaped eyes. Small boobs. Not, not really my small boobs. Not really me. Scars. I guess women like scars. I don't know. I know this uh one girl I know. She was like, oh yeah, when when he he got into a fight and he had blood leaking from his nut from his nose. That shit was so hot. Ugh. Once I had that conversation, I knew I could not associate with them ever again. What the fuck you mean them leaking blood from their nose is hot? They are dying. They are suffering, and you find their men's suffrage hot. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Heart-shaped face. I ain't never seen no nigga look like this. I ain't never seen no nigga look like that. What does that mean? Thoughts on small boobs? Like, I don't really care that much to keep it a buck. Do I find it hot? Like, like I don't find... When I look at breasts, I don't necessarily... I never describe them as hot. You know, it's all it's more shape than anything else. It's not really the boobs themselves. It's all about shape and how they look. It they have to fit with the rest of the body. You know, it's hard to just pinpoint specific areas. You have to when you you have to look at the whole body structure, you know? The hairline on top is a heart. Are you talking about when white boys have like their hair and it's like like a it's like a little bone thing? Cause I know Negroes don't have that little bone thing. So are we talking I feel like this is caucasidized. But that makes sense, you know, there's a lot of white people in life, so. Eh, I don't really find blonde hair hot. Muscular calves. <laughs> this must be all the gay men right here. I ain't never seen no one comment on no calves. I'm not <laughs> ah! <laughs> Imagine you, you running down the street, you in New York. You running down the street, and someone's like, damn, man, look. Oh, but they're like, fuck, look at that boy's cows. Oh my, I see you, boy. Cross country runner. You must have ran track in high school. Oh my fuck. Oh yeah, I see those things flexing. Daddy, stump on me. Yes, bitch, yes. I ain't never heard someone they say nothing about no muscular calves. I ain't never heard no one say anything about no long fingers. Being tall, this is more than 65%. I don't think I've ever seen green eyes or natural green eyes. Dimples on Venus. What? Dimples of Venus. Two dimples that appear right above a woman's butt. Do y'all know what the fuck they talking about? What does dimples on Venus mean? I, now I think we're just making things up. I don't even know what that means for real. This scene is sexy and women are not men. Fair. Freckles. Eh, I guess. I, I never found freckles hot per se. Full eyebrows. I mean, I don't like half eyebrows, so that's fair. High cheekbones. I would have to get a side by side comparison between high and low cheekbones to understand that. Prominent chin, that makes sense. Suntan skin. Yeah, I just can't be too tanned. Blue eyes. Blue eyes are scary. I think that's a, that's definitely a Caucasian thing. Because as a fellow Negro, if I look at someone in blue eyes, I feel like they're extracting my soul. And not in a good way. I feel like I'm getting judged. There's just only judgment in their eyes. Narrow feet. Full lips, beautiful teeth. You know, at least I can agree with the beautiful teeth part, man. Waka, you gotta pee really bad. Someone in chat will open their mouth for you, don't worry.
So in the chat got you. Nigga like me don't care. Okay, what women want in men? Okay, guys, we have to sit back and listen. Since we're men, we don't truly know what women want. We can only make assumptions. But, but we can truly see what women want here. Okay, guys. I'm a freak in the sheet. If women want this type of music, I might just be gay. I might just, I might, I might have to switch sides. Because what the hell was that, bro? Okay. I might, yeah, I might, I, I guess I only attract men because uh, piercings are a no for me. Smoking's a no for me. But hey, I be wearing red though. I, I do be wearing red though. It is my favorite color for real. So hey. <laughs> Good cook? Okay, yeah, I might as well just, I might as well just switch sides. Having braces. <laughs> Feminine side, okay, period, period. You know what, you know what, period, okay. <laughs> okay, what does that, what does that mean though? What is a feminine side, like, like how feminine can I get? Do I have to get my nails done? I'll get a coating on my nails, but colors the only the only thing that could probably make me color my nails if i had a daughter and she was like dad can we get our nails done like if my daughter want to get our nails done we get our fucking nails done you feel what i'm saying but i think that's the only thing how feminine do i have to get do i have to like bounce on penis i'm not bouncing on penis glasses <laughs> you feel what i'm saying associated with intellect i am a smart nigga i did graduate from harvard you feel what i'm saying so hey, hey, attack the feet. Hair trail on the stomach. You know, I do have a little bit of hair with my fat ass. Square chin. Niggas like Roblox? What does that mean? What does square chin mean? Thick eyebrows? <laughs> Upper body strength? Okay. You're losing me. <laughs> High cheekbones, I don't know. Tone stomach, we're really losing me. Into music. I'm really getting lost here. Like, I like music, but a lot of people just listen to music just to listen to music. I don't do that. The only time I listen to music is either when I'm working out, which I'm starting to not even do as much, but it's either when I'm working out or when I'm in the car. But, like, I don't actively just sit down and listen to music. I do do it in the shower, too. Shower. B-shaped torso. I've never looked like a letter before. Narrow waist. So they want me slim thick? Like, what the fuck? Damn. Why can't a nigga just be thick for real? <laughs> Symmetrical face. Okay. Sincerity. Nah, I be lying like a mug. Scars. Oh, you know what? I did play football for a while, so I do actually have scars on accident. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, it, do I need to? I was about to say something crazy. I, that was that was about to say that. Never mind. That was about to be crazy. Gray hair? Nigga, you want me to be old? <laughs> Y'all want me to be old? You, you was gonna say cut yourself? No, I'm, no, no. Love animals? Hey, I be fucking dogs now. Just, listen, adventurous. Nah, nah. Adventurous? Hell nah. Cause people are so associate being adventurous to doing things that can kill you. If one slip happens, like, oh, let's go skydiving. That's adventurous. No, it's stupid. It's not adventurous. I don't care. I don't care what you say. That is stupidity. Let's put our life in danger because that's adventurous. Okay. Wait until a bird hits you midair. You and the bird. You, you and Tweety. Done for. Converse well. I be saying nigga, so... I don't think that that works. Respect your opinions. If I'm always right, so that's not, you know, jawline, I guess. Embarrassment, not afraid to show his emotions. So why is embarrassment here? These are, what? That Typical means, underscore that does, underscore this don't even make sense. Cheered. 
X100. The main that women like is hear men moan and whimper all this other stuff as an ad bonus. <laughs> what does that mean? Embarrassment and not afraid to show emotions are two different things. A big package. Size does matter after all. Y'all see this dingling imprint, bro? What the hell? Deep voice. Caring. I don't really care about you niggas for real, so. Big hands. You know, I have long fingers, but my fingers aren't big. I don't, like, my fingers, my fingers are lengthy, but, like, lengthy, but skinny, so. I look you have web fingers. Y'all see that? Y'all think I was uh, a platypus in the past? Tight shit. Y'all think I was a platypus? You know what I'm saying? I got wide receiver fingers for real. Scent. Eh, I smell like a uh, raccoon poo. Honestly, like I said, I be lying like a mug. Broad shoulders. Guys, they're losing me. They're losing me. Long hair. Gives a strong boost in confidence. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? What is, I feel like this is anti-Negro. <laughs> Freckles. Also feels a little anti-Negro. Good in bed. Okay, we're losing me. Intelligence. Damn, I got the glasses. Hey. I don't got the gray hair, but I do got the glasses. Hey. Passionate. Hey, I'm passionate about being lazy. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? You know? A gentleman. Okay, what's a, what's a gentleman? About basic manners, saying thank you, please, and being... If this is all it takes to be a gentleman, I'm the gentlest of men. You feel me? I am I am a golden retriever of men. Right? If this is all it th if this is all it takes, you know? I'm not opening doors for your ass though. You got arms. Open your own doors, nigga. Especially car doors. I might open a, a, a door to a house, a restaurant. But you know, I'm not walking around that car, the whole surface area of the car to get to, to open your door. Especially since I'll be I'll be whipping an RV. That's a big ass car to be walking around. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Open your own door. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having humor. Oh, having honor. Oh. Doing what is no what doing what is right is a noble quality. Okay. Beard. Responsible. Wait, responsible, an independent guy who knows and pursues what he wants in life. Okay, okay. If this is the definition of responsible, okay, I got it. Because I'll be forgetting times, dates, important events. Like, I literally have to write things down on my calendar because I'm just so forgettable, but... Trustworthy. Eh. Geek. Geeky qualities such as video games and sci-fi films. Why is liking video games geeky? Why is that the name? Why is it geek? What? And I don't even fit this quality because I don't care about no sci-fi films. I don't play games that much. Damn! I'm, o I'm only attracting men over here. Sense of humor? Yeah, but like some people, like sense of humor, like they want you to laugh at certain things. I laugh at everything, you know? I, I laugh at a lot of things. I make jokes about a lot of things too, so. Uh, I don't know how much I fall into that one. Confidence? I mean, I am that nigga, so you consider it. Uh, fuck your feelings. Smile. I do be smiling a lot. <laughs> oh. All this really told me is I do attract a lot of men. That's... Hold up, what? Okay, let's see. What makes women sexy? Uh, what makes males... Okay, yeah. We, what, what women want? No, I want to know what, what makes women sexy. I want to know how much I fit on that list. Everything's about what women find in males. I'm trying to find reverse. How to be sexy. You cannot make a, th you can't make this a title and have this as a thumbnail. That thumbnail doing you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Thumb.
things girls do but they don't tell you about. Okay. I think we've already seen this. Have we seen this? Hey, things girls do but don't tell you. Nigga. They be, they be on Snapchat talking about some. Don't hit me up. I'm not in the mood. Uh, stop it. Plan their dream wedding. No, they do that. Buy fish. I don't remember if we watched this or not. Modu God cheered. X100. Can you watch DBZ abridged? And I asked five days for mod. Um, no. To both. Irritated by too much attention. That's fair. We did? Okay, okay. I felt like I felt like some of these were kind of familiar. Y'all know Radio of Hiller season two coming out this year? How do y'all How do y'all feel about Radio of Hiller season two? Oh god. The weirdest things people enjoy. Hold up. Oh okay, okay. What do, what do people enjoy? What do people enjoy? That's me. Nose picking. I don't enjoy it. Cracking joints. I be, I be, I be, I be like, hold up. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but I do be, I do be cracking joints. Sleepwalking. How, how do niggas enjoy this? They're asleep. Sucking thumb. I'll never forget. My uncle has a sister. And she, I remember she was like 17 years old at the time. We were watching a movie. I look to my left. She's sucking her thumb and playing with it, his his earlobe. She's sucking her thumb and playing with his earlobe. When I tell you, I just I didn't know how to process this information. Like I didn't know how to process what I was seeing, so I just I turned back and I just kept watching the movie because I was I was I was in shock. You said whimper. Why are y'all telling me to whimper? People enjoy staring at people. Sniffing fingers after eating. I've actually never did this. Counting steps. I d no, I don't. Fucking freaks. Popping pimples. More freaks. Talking to yourself. Normal niggas. Smelling book. Books do have a certain type of scent that kind of like. But books like books give off pheromones that be making niggas like horny and shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Some 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 books they be they you feel what I'm saying? Ketchup on pizza. I feel like it's just too much tomato at that point. Eating your own boogers. Okay, guys. I thought we were grown. I thought we were grown, guys. <laughs> Clean your feet before bed. I thought we took showers before we went to sleep, guys. I, oh, <laughs> licking the flavor off. Ooh. Ooh, sometimes I do just be sucking on that fucking chip. And then sometimes I leave the chip in my hand as much as possible so I can just suck the dust off my fingertips. Fuck. People eat the crust first? That's weird. Walking barefoot outdoor. This is a Caucasian activity. I know a plethora of Caucasians who love this. They just be stepping on rocks like they're not there. Eating a full Kit Kat. What? Flushing the toilet while the people enjoy this. Like, what do you mean enjoy this? Like, do you, do you get a kick out of this? What do you mean enjoy this? Sn snack on raw spaghetti? Getting completely naked to poop? No comment. <laughs> Smelling cut toenails. What? Eating kiwi with the skin on. Okay. Oh. Oh. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like we just took a crazy jump. I, why is it un, Why is it less likely to enjoy eating in the shower than eating your own earwax and peeing on people? Ah. Not the earwax again. We already went over earwax earlier. Oh. I eat in the shower. I, it's just, I wish I could eat in the shower. It's just the food will 
if you crumbs fall in the shower thing and that's the problem like if i didn't if, it, if i didn't have crumbs if th crumbs didn't exist i'd be eating the shower but the crumbs fall you eat in the bath and not shower i can't eat in the bath because the, i'm gonna be floating in my own food paper eating what brushing nails with toothpaste oh that just sounds uncomfortable drink urine Drinking what? How many people enjoy this? Drinking what? What? What are we talking about? <laughs> Eating earthly substances. What does that mean? Clay can help absorb toxins. Oh. It's like eating dirt in ish? Sexually attracted to animals. Nah, that's not too bad. <laughs> Collecting human teeth. So, tooth fairies. Glass eating? Glass? I'd rather you eat hair than eat your own earwax and piss on niggas. Can these two get, re can those get replaced by hair eating? Eh, I mean, you know, sometimes it be like that for real. Wait, 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 wait. This specifies human eating dead human flesh. So, so these niggas are alive. These niggas are alive. Um, let's just move on. If everyone had a crush on you. Okay, no, this, this is boring. What if Hitler woke up today? Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait. It says, what if my nigga wakes up today? That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Was a joke. Oh, so this is saying before things ha okay. Okay, so it's just saying. Wait, what? Hitler, okay, okay, we woke, he woke up. As soon as he wakes up, he's going to the street, okay? Okay. Shocked scene cars. All right. Weird dresses and hairstyles. All right. Not understanding smartphones. That's fair. That's fair. This is only three minutes. It's only three minutes. People hating him. Ah, don't judge the man too quickly. <laughs> Not seeing a single soldier. Okay, asking what year it is. All right. Uh, uh, uh. My God. I'm going to the library. Y'all really think Hitler going to the library 30 minutes in? He's not finding a library that fast. I wasn't moaning, I was yawning. What? Seeing prohibited books. He's not finding a library and finding these books in 20 minutes. Everything has been rebuilt. He only learns that after an hour. Two hour flag trains, okay. Extremely angry. Okay, Jews half walking happily. <laughs> Insulting a gay couple's crazy. <laughs> Burn it. By this time, he's like arrested. He'd be arrested by this time. No one's gonna let him burn the flag. Punching him, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's locked up. He's punished for three years. Forced to shave. 
This is all within 16 hours. Within 16 hours, he went to the library, insulted a yay couple, burned down Germany flags, <laughs> and now he's in prison. Going famous. New followers. Oh no. Learning to use the internet. Oh no. Hating Angela Mer. Who the hell is this? Strong depression. Good. Movies that make fun of him. <laughs> it will make. <laughs> Imagine waking up and there's just a genre, a whole catalog of people making fun of you. That's crazy. DNA test. It will make him more funny. He commits? Huh? 13 days? Y'all, they're saying Hitler only surviving 13 days?